Week 11 of La Liga Santander will open at the Rosaleda. Malaga arrived to the encounter with the informed Sandro Ramirez, who scored in three of the last four games. Once again, Ensonza sticks out a long leg, but the ball's fallen kindly, and that is the equaliser! For their part, Sporting will travel to the Costa del Sol with the need to take the three points home to avoid falling into deep trouble. This season, Abelardo's team have yet to win away from home. find themselves in a delicate situation given that they've yet to win a match and their three points have come from three draws. Two of those at home, so their big challenge against Deportivo will be to win their first Liga match of the season. That's something the Galithians have already done on two occasions, but they don't find themselves in a comfortable situation either as they hover above the relegation zone on just nine points. Sadar will host a match that hasn't been disputed in the first division since 2006. As they show, and there is the first goal of the game. He's missed two. Osasuna will need to improve on their home form as they've yet to win the three points in five attempts. Vez will find it a little bit more difficult as they lose Davison through suspension. The Brazilian has been their only goal scorer in the last three matches. And the side from Pamplona will be without La Guardia and by Gomez in their plans, as well as the injured Degard and the suspended Riviere. There's the goal they needed. And it's a terrible error by Sergio Alvarez. We're turning our ground into a fortress, and we have to look to the next match as a must win to get the three points. Above all, we have to keep our team spirit up as we're playing well, but not getting the results we deserve. We're feeling good, and as I say, it's a question of time until we get that good result and win the three points. Las Palmas need the victory after a run of six games without a win. All the same, after the comeback against Celta, the Canarians arrive in good spirits to face an Eibar, also in good form, after the match against Villarreal. Sergi Enrique stands out in the Basque outfit. The striker has two assists and two goals in his last three matches. RCD Stadium will see a very uneven encounter. The Budgies have won seven of their last 11 meetings with the Basques. What's more, Kike Sanchez Flores' team arrive on the back of winning three vital points against Betis. Not into our goal, and Espanyol take the lead. A power header from close range. I hope a lot of people come to an exciting match. It's always exciting against Athletic, and I hope we can win to steer away from the bottom end of the table. For his part, Valverde will hope to change the record books. It's been almost 20 years since the last Athletic Club victory at the home of the Blue and Whites. Flick into the box as well. And what about that finish from Yago Aspas? What a remarkable, remarkable... It was a bittersweet point gained by Celta and Las Palmas after leading 3-0 and then losing two pillars of their defence. Hugo Mayo through suspension and Sergi Gomez, sent off, will be missing at Balaidos to receive a Valencia in a precarious situation. Just one point above the relegation zone. To relative safety, but it's in! The goal's been given, and it's Rodrigo who just nudged it over the line. 
Valencia have good memories of their last visit to Balaidos, which they won 5 1 thanks to a brace from Parejo. Bruno Soriano opens the scoring for Villarreal. Still a chance, Ramis equalizes for. He's got Pedro Leon. Pedro Leon, can he finish? Yes, he can. Two one. Villarreal will hope to put behind them the bad performance at Ipurua, but at home the dynamic is completely different. 13 of the last 15 points in play at the Madrigal have been pocketed by the yellow submarine. For their part, Betis have only won six out of 15 as visitors. Gustavo Poyet's team will put their trust in the finishing of Ruben Castro. Against the Valencians, the Canarian striker scored three goals in the last four meetings. Fran Escribá will take fitness checks on Pato and Bonera. Donk and Musonda are doubtful for Betis.